This cutoff saw is especially designed for the cutting of non-ferrous material. It has the flexibility to cut everything from thin-walled extrusions to solid bar stock. The main advantages of this sawing system are the high production, automatic cutting, and precision tolerances. It has the capability to hold tolerances to plus or minus two thousandths of an inch. Here's how it works. You put your material on the back gauge here. The standard length is 14 feet, but we can provide longer back gauges of virtually unlimited lengths. Cut two lengths can range from one half inch to eight feet or even longer. In this demonstration, we're going to lay the material side by side, but the saw can handle individual pieces or even stacks or bundles up to eight inches thick and two feet wide. Now with this computer touchscreen, you tell the saw what cuts to make. Just enter the parameters, how wide your load is, the carriage speed according to what you're cutting, and what length you want to cut. You press the auto cycle button and there it goes. What's happening here is a combination of the precision back gauge, the pneumatic clamping system, and the blade driven by your programmer, all working together to result in cuts within two thousandths of an inch tolerance. Watch how the back gauge works. It has automatic incremental feeding. The stock lengths travel on precision rollers and positioning is driven by a gear and rack. The mechanical gear and rack system is integrated with a high-resolution linear scale. The coated gold strip on the left transmits precise back gauge positioning to the reader head, where the green light indicates it's operating properly. They work in a dual-loop system with the back gauge AC servo motor and encoder. The system will deliver cutting tolerances down to plus or minus two thousandths of an inch depending on the parts being cut. Working in tandem with the back gauge is this universal pneumatic clamping system, designed once again with precision in mind. Notice how the top and side clamps ensure that there is no movement of the material during actual cutting. To secure it, the material is being clamped on both sides of the blade slot. And watch what happens after the cut is made. See how the clamps never fully open. The clamps on the back side are spring-loaded rollers that stay in contact with the material while the front clamps relieve just enough pressure to allow the load to be indexed forward for the next cut to be made. The whole load is never allowed to shift, ensuring accuracy and increasing productivity by not waiting for the clamps to completely open and close with each cut. The blade collar is another reason for precision. We've extended it to within five-eighths of an inch of the material being cut, so the blade stays steady and rigid during operation. The blade itself is carbide-tipped and travels below the tabletop to cut the material from underneath. The arbor is driven by a 30-horsepower motor, and the arbor bearings are pre-loaded and automatically tested at metal saw. With rigid steel carriageways for travel, the saw produces vertical and horizontal squareness within half of a thousandth per inch and two thousandths per inch respectively. The appropriate carriage speed is entered into the computer at the touchscreen. It's determined by the material being cut and the specifications of the finished product. The carriage travels at a high speed to the position just next to the material to be cut. The blade then goes right through the material at the required cutting rate. After each cut, the blade goes back into the position right next to the material. Each movement has been programmed to make the whole process as speedy and efficient as possible. Want to change a blade? It's pretty easy. First, you open the locking blade cover, then remove the outer flange and blade. Put the new blade on the arbor spindle and tighten up the flange. Don't forget to adjust the pneumatic AccuLube unit. It sprays a mist of lubricant on the blade teeth throughout the cutting process. But it's the saw's Allen Bradley control package housed here in this electrical panel that makes everything so easy and efficient. Just touching the touchscreen allows the operator to set up everything easily, from manual machine operation to auto cycle setup and operations. Let's take a close look at the simple steps required to cut a load of material. Once the previous load is completed, the pusher returns to its home position. The saw can now be loaded. 
Once the material is loaded on the back gauge, the pusher automatically indexes the material forward and positions it precisely for trimming. This is accomplished by using this photo eye to detect the leading edge of the material. Now the material is ready to cut. If this is a part that is cut often, you would have already saved the cutting parameters to one of the 150 standard part numbers. Thus, simply by entering the part number, you would be ready to cut the load. Let's say this is a new part. First, you need to enter several parameters, such as the blade size, where you want the blade to start and return, and the cutting speed. Next, you need to put in the parameters for auto cycle, such as the trim cut length, number of pieces, and the cut lengths. You can enter up to 10 different cut lengths per load. For this demonstration, we will take a half inch trim cut, two two inch cuts, and two two foot cuts. AutoCycle will work through the specified cut lengths until it completes the cuts or runs out of material. At the same time, it keeps count of the cut parts. The pusher can index the material within two and a half inches of the cut line. If the starting lengths are sized properly, scrap is minimized to approximately three inches per load, including the trim cut and end drop. And the quality and precision of the cut parts give you a finished part directly from the saw. With metal saw's material handling options, you can customize your sawing system to increase efficiency and productivity. This back gauge side loader reduces loading time to a minimum. As one load of material is cut, additional loads are staged right here on the side loader ready to go. These pneumatic lift bags raise each load and the pneumatic cylinder moves the loads towards the back gauge. For total automation, you can enter your information from load to load so that the saw operates practically unattended. For greatest efficiency, the automatic side loader is designed to accommodate a range of starting lengths. For example, this side loader will handle up to 22 foot starting lengths. But when a load of material comes in 12 foot starting lengths, you can have the pusher stop at a preset point to minimize pusher indexing. Since the metal saw can quickly produce a large volume of parts, metal saw has designed several outfeed systems to assist in the efficient removal of the cut pieces. This particular outfeed uses a combination of power conveyors, belts, and sensors to remove the material. Depending on your cutting requirements, metal saw can assist you in determining and designing an efficient outfeed system. Along with our two-foot cutoff saw and material handling options, Metal Saw also offers saws with the same design with a three-foot or one-meter, four-foot, and five-foot cutting windows. You can reach us at area code 707 707...